Precious people and wonderful people of the nation of Zimbabwe, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you to this prophetic talk. I just want to speak briefly on this um, prophetic review, which I want to do based on the incident that happened. Uh, we all know what is being reported in social media, although it is not allowed according to the reports that we, have, we are getting from the media of a high-profile politician uh, during the address on a rally. So this is what I'm coming to respond because I gave a prophetic message a year ago and some came to me to say, was this a fulfillment of the word? But tell us in the respond to some of the facts surrounding this issue, which I'm going to address point by point. We're going to touch the issue of the words if he spoke the words blasphemous words the issue of the age and also the events surrounding that uh, instant does it match with the prophets if it is matching then we have to see if god spoke or not um, some of you even came across um, a statement that i gave in as a way to respond but i thought let me do this video so that people understand. And some, they came across the review of what I gave as a prophecy on YouTube channel, um, Africa and Beyond uh, channel. I'm coming again in order to um, try to shed light on the following issues. But before I get into these details, before I address these questions, before I respond to people, I want us to listen to the video because some of you, you do not uh, listen, you do not watch this video. So let us watch the video of what I said a year ago uh, to say that a politician was going to fall or to collapse during uh, the rally. Let us hear. Today I'm going to be uh, precise and to be on point because it's a message that I believe that our politicians need to hear this message. The reason why I'm coming to share this message on public platform is because God did not give me the name of the person is going, who is going to collapse after uh, he speaks uh, the blasphemous words. He's going to speak words that are going to offend God. He will be jokingly uh, speaking words against God. It could be on the rally or addressing people. And because sometimes the politicians would be overjoyed, overwhelmed, or cheered up by people, and they forget that there's God in heaven. This is why I'm coming to give this prophetic warning. And I would like you to share this message as much as you can, so that it can reach to any politician, because we don't know who is going to collapse during their campaign. And this is a warning. But I believe that this thing is going to happen because God wants to reveal himself and to show that people should not jokingly um, play with him. I'm sent to speak this word as a warning that uh, uh, this time around you are going to see as a sign that God is not happy with the people who seemingly or continuously speak words that are blasphemous or joking with the God. So this is the message that I've come to share with you, that you are going to see that and it's going to collapse after speaking those words. So I'm speaking this message so that people will be warned and number two, that when that thing happens, they will understand and record this message so that those who are, are going to witness this thing, they will know that we must fear God. Sometimes people will take for granted the grace and the message of God and the patience of God. So this is the message that I've come to share with you. So this is a message that I want to address. Number one, some people were saying this is a fake message. Why people create um, fake messages around situations and circumstances? Let us understand that this message was given a year ago. You may go and see the on the way I posted. The link is there on the comment section. Uh, the date is there. So we are not trying to create any situation. I'm not trying to create any message that will try to match with the events. This was God speaking. Second, we want to highlight 
if it was God, was a person a politician? If yes, we need to put a tick. If I did not say a politician, then it was going to be a different scenario to say the person who fell was not is not a politician. Anyone can fall from a stage. If he was a politician, then we have to mark that. Second, was he addressing people? If yes, then we have to put a tick. Was it on the rally? If yes, we have to put a tick there. Why am I saying so? This is why we have to see if the prophet was correct. Despite that, the, the, the reports or the incident was not allowed to be published. This uh, that is being reported that uh, is something that happened and uh, how he fell when he was addressing uh, people. So this shows us that God spoke. People were saying, we must all understand that he is old. True, we know that he is now an elder now. But the question is, why would God want to embarrass an elder? These are high profiles. Sometimes they will check their health before they go on the public. But when it happens, um, sometimes God will be trying to fulfill his word. Not trying, he will be fulfilling rather his word. This could have happened to a young and old. Because when you say a politician, whether old or no, when God wants to fulfill his word, you will not look for a young so that the, the word will become real to say, ah, why would a young fail? If it was a young, why, who can, how can we say the young was strong if he, even if he was a young? A, a young person can also be suffering from illness, different kinds of illness. So here we are looking if the word which God gave us uh, to the nation is matching with what happened the instant. Then the issue of the words. Some were saying we did not hear the blasphemous words. Correct. Number one, we need to understand that this incident was not published. So, we don't know whether he spoke or not. Even if he did not speak the words, we need also to understand that sometimes God will be checking the history. How did he speak? Sometimes it's not a matter of saying words directly and, and mentioning God and speak blasphemous words and start to insult God. And everyone will say, how can this person insult? Maybe they'll be addressing their audience or on the rally in trying maybe to convince or the followers. Uh, many words can be spoken and God will be listening. So we, God's judgment sometimes will come uh, after some time. So we must not rule out. Then second, we need to understand that I said it will be a sign. So this sign, sometimes people should not look on the person who received as the person who was a victim of falling but a sign is also a sign to those who are witnessing because there are people who do blasphemous words politicians they do blasphemous words even those who will be surrounding this man in the political arena some of them they do blaspheming uh, words or blasphemous words uh, and people wonder if people respect God. So it comes as a sign again. So these are the things that we have to check. That God will be speaking to us. It will be a warning. That's why the message had a title, a prophetic warning. To warn who? To those who are the, the, those who do that, the offenders of God, and those who also be supposedly to be the offenders of God or those who do that and other people not only him this one can be a sign it can a sign it may not be a direct message to the person it can be a sign to those who be watching so this is what we have to look at there's not to say um we love to see people falling or collapsing but who are we when god speaks and this is a message that god uh, gave a year without knowing that was uh, what was going to happen so People should learn to understand uh, how, how God speaks and to take the word of God instead of arguing with the message of God. People should repent. People should look into the issue and see what God is saying to the nation. So this is what I thought I have to respond. If the incident happened, then we have to check up in line with what God said instead of arguing and saying, a fake message this did not happen and so forth we have pointers we have how the incident happened it was on the rally it is it was the politician 
and then it is said the men collapsed. So we don't have to run away from what God will be saying to the nation or to those who be learning. Otherwise, we will miss the point 